But right now, we move over to Kitui, where our reporter, Edward Kabasa, is uh, giving us the story. You know that the county assembly of Kitui had said, let us hold on. They wanted to impeach Governor Ngilu, but the High Court stopped them. So what's the conversation that's going on in Kitui? Edward Kabasa, over to you. Very good morning to you, Daniel Wahome. We are live at the Kitui County Assembly. This is uh, uh, the place that uh, um, did play host to the Senate Mashinani last year, if our viewers can remember. Uh, Kitui County Assembly is one of the most uh, modernized uh, county assemblies in the country. Uh, they boast of uh, state-of-the-art equipment and, of course, um, a very good gallery. Um, the happenings uh, in Kitui County have uh, hit the headlines over the last couple of days. And, of course, um, we now know uh, the, uh, the allegations which have been leveled against Governor Cherry Tingilu. The members of the county assembly, through the leadership of the ma majority leader, um, were supposed to uh, move a motion in the county assembly uh, perhaps this week. This is according to a gazette notice which was uh, issued by the speaker of the county assembly, Honorable Ndoto. But uh, that particular process was stayed uh, courtesy of a court order which uh, was uh, was issued on Friday um, indicating that the county assembly cannot proceed with this particular matter. Um, the issues addressed in this, uh, pro the, in this particular motion um, ranges uh, from gross misconduct to the inability of the county um, governor to adhere to the two-thirds gender rule. In the motion, uh, which I will be speaking to the leader of the majority in a couple of seconds, the MCAs allege that uh, there is a web of corruption in the county government of Kitui, and uh, the county governor has refused to uh, to, to appoint a substantive um, health uh, committee executive member. And uh, right now, I am joined by the leader of the majority party. Um, Thank you very much. You are live on KBC Channel 1. It is a very big motion, uh, you know, speaking in terms of pages. The allegations are very many. Uh, but let's start uh, from, the f uh, from the first one where you say that the, the governor um, has, uh, you know, is guilty of gr gross misconduct and she is liable to a number of offenses which she has committed, uh, corruption being one of them. Uh, what is the evidence to this? Uh, thank you very much. My name is uh, Peter Kilonzo, Elias Nangawizi. I'm the majority leader of Kitui County. I think uh, I, I, uh, probably I might not be really stand the point of answering the cases of evidence, but I really want to. Uh, I really wanted to question the governor. If the governor feels that we don't have evidence, why did she have to stop this uh, matter <laughs> today? because that is the most important thing. Well, what I can tell this country is that we have a serious evidence against the governor on the allegations we have made. That is, I think, that is the most important thing which I can say before, uh, before you guys. So if the governor feels that we do not have evidence, there's no reason why she should have stopped the exercise today. All right. And uh, you, in the motion, you also allege that the governor has refused to adhere to the two-thirds gender principle. We have seen the National Assembly and the Senate uh, failing to, to, to do the same. The motions have been, you know, the, the bills have been reintroduced in both houses severally, but the members uh, seem reluctant to, to pass it. Why would you push the governor to adhere to this, and yet nationally, the, the, uh, the, par the Parliament of Kenya has uh, been unable to. Uh, well, that is constitutional. Whether that's constitutional. And if the smallest institutions of, uh, for example, of the government, like this, uh, like our county, do not appear to two third gender rule, and uh, on the platform that the governor herself is a lady, <laughs> according to me, this is the first agenda, which you should make sure that it is done countrywide. And um, uh, one of the key items and uh, thing which she campaigned was to empower women. And I, we felt, and we felt that uh, this was a point for herself to prove herself, because 
she, she, she campaigned on a platform was saying that women, she will empower women. And uh, she's denying women of Kitui County, literally. Uh, the empowerment uh, factor, which she said and which she campaigned on, it is constitutional and we should not violate, she should not violate the constitution uh, because uh, either the, uh, the, the large house, the Senate or national parliament has not done that. We are feeling that in, out of 10, for example, out of the 10 CEC members or the CEOs, we should see a reflection of the two uh, that yeah, gender, gender rule. rule. So, practically, that, that's it. All right. Um, the Wiper Party forms the majority in this, in, this, in this house. You are the leader of the majority party. Uh, there are those who have argued that Wiper is not giving the governor an opportunity to deliver her mandate to the people of Kitui County. How true is this? Oh, sorry. I, I think that is, uh, <laughs> that is literally very wrong. The people who are supporting this motion are not all WIPA. WIPA has only 28 members. I require 36, which forms two third gender role, no. so that two third uh, uh, threshold. So uh, if we are 28 and we are able to garner 36 members, do you think those, w this one is formed of uh, WIPA, all right? It's formed of NAC members, it has Jubilee, it has Mungano, it has independent members. So it is not about uh, wiper against NAG. It's, yeah, no, no. And you have no uh, direct communication from the party leader that the governor should vacate office? No. I, I think uh, that is the narrative which is being uh, uh, spread all around. We, uh, I mean, our party leader is not a member of this kind of assembly. It's not a member of... Uh, is a, he's actually is a, he's, he's a citizen of Kitui County, but he's not concerned completely. These members are doing their constitutional mandate, and uh, our party leader is not really concerned. So when we talk about, uh, you know, we hear is against this or party leader against this, no, that's not true. So what I can say is uh, that is a narrative which is just being spread, maybe for sympathy purposes, or for whatever reason, it is it's neither there. All right, earlier the the lawyer through her legal representative uh, was here. The, the governor through her legal representative was was here, and uh, the lawyers were barred from accessing the the county assembly. Uh, there was some some bit of exchange between the security and 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 the lawyers. Uh, their argument was that the county assembly has not been able to cancel the summons which it issued earlier before the court order. Uh, what is uh, what do you say um, on, the, on on this issue? We really do not know why the law what the law has wanted. They served us with court orders on Friday. Which motion were they coming to listen to? That is uh, that is uh, total madness. And for a lawyer to come here and uh, probably pretend to collapse, that is uh, <laughs> that that, that uh, some ambulances from whatever quarters come to pick. We, we, we count that uh, that is a total nonsense. The lawyers served us with the court orders on Friday. We are law abiding. We are fiddled, we are fiddled, we will be fiddled to law. We will wait up to six. Let the lawyers go out there and stay there. What the, which motion were they coming to listen to? I mean, uh, or they don't believe themselves. Right. The process of impeachment has been questioned by so many people, including legal minds, and it came up when the Senate was debating the impeachment of Governor Anwar Guru, that it is a process that is being used badly uh, by members of county assembly. Do we, should we assume that before electing someone into office, this someone should be very perfect? Because we know, as human beings, it is impossible to be perfect. I mean, uh, the, the point of perfection or whatever, it uh, does not occur. You know, we have had a lot of many uh, narratives that... Uh, this is a governor, this is a lady governor, this is Amanda's governor, whatever. We are not impeaching a lady, we are impeaching a governor. <laughs> and the rules of impeaching a governor are laid down. And uh, second, let me say this. The issues of whether you are perfect on law or, or all that kind of thing, I think uh, that one does not occur at this point. We, we are giving allegations, we are just giving the allegations which are, are due. For example, the case of nepotism, 
nepotism, for example, if it is a case which is pointing to nepotism, we can talk about issues like procurement, probably where you are indirectly there. Has as in Kitui County, we have not pointed any issue about procurement because we know that is where they want to get uh, off the hook. We have not pointed any item. We, while we know there are many cases of procurement because we know she can come out and say, I'm not directly involved in that. But where you give, for example, your daughter or your husband or your wife uh, contracts or projects, that's conflict of interest. That's, that's, that's uh, misuse of office. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, that was uh, the, the majority leader in the county assembly of Kitui uh, speaking to the substance of the motion which uh, they hope to move and debate before the county assembly. Right now, um, it cannot take place because of a court order uh, which was issued on Friday. And uh, we are uh, keeping you tabs. We are keeping in tabs with this um, happenings at the Kitui County Assembly, and uh, you can be sh rest assured to uh, get plenty more in our subsequent bulletins. And uh, right now, I hand you back to Daniel Wahome at the Broadcasting House. Thank you very much, Edward.